So you might be trying to go ahead and figure out how you can go through and basically check your battery health on your iPad. Now, doing this is actually pretty basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So to get started, what you're going to want to do, number one, you want to go ahead and see which type of iPad you have. If you have an iPad like an iPad, you know, one of the current generation ones like an M4 iPad Pro, what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application right here. You want to click on the battery, which is right over here, and you want to go ahead and open up your battery health option, which will show up right here. And all you're going to have to do is view your battery health. I believe the current generation of iPads have the battery health option here. So you can go through and you can try looking at it that way. And that's exactly what I'd recommend doing in this particular situation. Now, if you do that and that's not working or you're not seeing that option, you can always try going through and using the Siri shortcut method. So I'll leave this particular shortcut link down in the description. And basically what it is, is it's a shortcut that allows you to run it and it will go ahead and give you an estimated battery health of your particular iPad. So click on the link down in the description. You wanna go ahead and install this shortcut by just clicking on it and it will take you into the Siri shortcut page, right? And then what you can do is you can go through and you can basically make sure you have the analytics portion enabled inside of your iPad and it will tell you exactly what to do inside of the shortcut. So once you enable it, once you go ahead and have it enabled, you're pretty much good to go. So you can click on add shortcut, you can replace it or keep both. And then all you're going to have to do is go inside of your settings application once more, scroll down into privacy and security, which is right here. You wanna go ahead and scroll down until you find the little option that says analytics and improvements. You wanna have, you wanna make sure share iPad analytics is enabled. You wanna click on analytics data. You want to find the most current file that you have. So in this case, I think it's this IPS file right here, but you can find whichever one you have. Then you can click on the share button up here and you can find that battery stats or battery, whichever one it was. I think it was battery stats. Just make sure. And it was, I believe it was battery cycle. So let's click on view battery cycle and it should give you a number up here. So um, that's kind of one way to do it. I've been having some issues with it, but that is kind of one way you can kind of do it. So in terms of that, those are just a couple ways to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.